first let's rename the package open up the main simple application you can change some wording what you need to do here is extend base to the application what this tells the, f the graphics engine is that we will be using or creating a 2D game and under that application there's a few methods that need to be implemented we'll have a pre-initialize called before game loads post called after game loads is physics enabled this will tell the system to enable physics or not and because it's a 2D physics 2D application we if we enable the physics it will activate the DIN4J physics space initialize screens will this is where you load your screens your models and any materials this is only pre-initialization of them to get them into memory sounds effects and textures So the next thing we need to do is add a default constructor which we'll call a super constructor in the base to the application. First we give it a title space shooter 2d the width and the height that's specified here is the native width and height for this game so whenever the running device or application or window has a different resolution as this it will scale relative to these prop variables next we define a player save file this is a file name for any player data that needs to be saved game font you can give there a font a splash image and you can give it a, a true boolean value if you want the player to change the window when it loads up the game maybe might want to change it to windowed or not in the main method you need to call that default constructor that is the only thing you need to do to make use or to create a 2D base application. So next up, let's create a screen. Create a package called screens, and we'll add a new class. Let's call it the menu screen. the screen can extend abstract screen in 
inside the Gallagher framework and then implement all abstract methods. Inside our main Java class, we've got our initialized screens. Here we call the screen manager and we say load that screen. Call it, uh, give it a name, menu, and we initialize the menu screen. What this does, it creates that screen. When this initialize screen method is called, the initialize method inside the screen will be called. And typically, you'll add your GUI components in here. So let's give it a header, a heading, let's call it heading, we can say heading equals new label. Now we're going to make use of this constructor, panel, the text value, font size, width and height of that tick, um, of that label. Inside the abstract screen we've got a HUD panel which is automatically initialized for you. Give it a text, space shooter, font size, let's make it really big, 46, width 500 and by 60 and we want to position this heading somewhere so we'll say heading dot center top 0 on the X 10 span on the Y once that is done let's run this game Oh yes, before we can run, we need to tell the main application which screen to show first. So, in the post initialize, we'll call a method show screen. Call it menu. We can go to the menu screen. Let's test this out. And there we go. Space Shooter. 